Sometimes I do feel like a detective. Sometimes uh, there's just no signal coming out of the microscope. You know, we put a sample there, but we don't see anything. Something's wrong. What is wrong? It's like a detective story. Then I go in, I troubleshoot. So it's very exciting because in the process, um, there's uh, lots of uh, instinct involved. You're trying to develop a tool, a, a, a research technique that uh, doesn't exist. So, but you want to see that by making this thing into a reality, whether you can see something that cannot be seen before. The circles, like little blobs, those are neurons. So those are the cells inside the mouse brain that uh, um, if you look at them very carefully, you will see that the, the intensity goes up and down with time, depending on which type of movie we are showing to the animal. I show them images of moving uh, grating in different orientation and different speed so, so that we can look at how individual cells inside their brain respond to those very simple uh, movie. I think mouse probably would prefer image, a movie of cheese or maybe even a cat for excitement's sake, but uh, they don't have much choice uh, as it is now. When we show mouse those moving bars, those moving gratings, we can see uh, their neuron, uh, different population of neuron will become active. The technique we developed is called adaptive optical microscopy. It can improve the imaging quality of those very small structures tremendously. So as a result, we are excited to try um, to do such experiment to see whether we can see something that conventional microscope cannot uh, see. By taking this series of images of all those neurons together, we can try to understand what is going on in the brain, why the animal is processing visual information. For me, the attraction of doing scientific research is this uh, excitement of discovery. And uh, to get this excitement, you have to be there and do it yourself. It's just not the same to be sitting in the office and then have my student or postdoc come in and say, hey, we made this discovery. For me, I really want to be there, see it, and you know, have a discovery just jumping out uh, at me. It's a natural high. The feeling is so wonderful that it just keeps us going. We are like addicts. We are addicted to discovery and we just have to come back for more. The Genelia Fellow Program is uh, where uh, young investigators can have a chance to have their own lab and at a pretty early stage of their career. We generally have five years to be a fellow at Genelia and uh, within these five years we do not need to write a proposal in order to get external funding. We do not need to teach. So these five years of basically uninterrupted uh, opportunity to do research, I think it's really great for somebody who just started their scient independent scientific career. I was actually trained as a physical chemist. In graduate school, my major was in chemistry, but I actually did my research in physics. So that's a very different line of research from what I'm doing now. The vast majority of, of us are trying something that we never uh, did before in our um, past research background. There's a complete scientific freedom in terms of choosing the question we're trying to answer. I just feel like I, I would like to do things my own way. Um, it may not be the, 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 the most easy way, but uh, it would be something that I'm always enjoy um, while I'm doing it. All of us uh, at Genelia are trying to answer some big question that we feel personally passionate about. And you know, we all work towards that goal. My big goal is to develop a technique so that people can see something that they couldn't see before. And uh, if I personally can actually use the technique to answer some biological question, that would be even better.